Now this YouTuber by the name of Mr. Atomic Kitten sent me this article. So I have to thank him or her for this. Now, normally I respond to videos like Lacey Green, but I'm not that much into reading. But this article is so bad it must be shown. UN says cyber violence is equivalent to physical violence against women. I wish I was making this up, but this is a real article that someone sent me. So, let's just get this over with. 93% of women have experienced cyber violence, according to a new report. Cyber violence is just as damaging to women as physical violence. According to a new UN report, which warns women are growing even more vulnerable to cyber violence as more and more regions gain internet access. Now, we all know that their definition of harassment is basically simply disagreeing with them. But to dare say that typed words in the internet is the same as punching a woman in the gut is not only batshit insane logic, but if this was a pass as a law, then guess what? Almost every gamer gator would be arrested for even suggesting a different point of view. The report calls itself a wake-up call about cyber violence as a systematic concern, especially as technology is spreading across more regions. Presented by UN Women and the UN Broadband Commission, the report estimates that 73% of women have endorsed cyber violence and that women are 27 times more likely as men to be harassed online. In Europe, 9 million girls have already experienced some kind of cyber violence by the time they're 15. Anita Sarkeesian, a gamer and activist who had long agitated for more action against cyber violence, spoke at the launch of the new report titled Cyber Violence Against Women and Girls, A Worldwide Wake-Up Call. Now, i actually taking the liberty to actually look at this report here. Now, I'm not going through the entire thing, but there's a certain part that caught my eye, and that is the recent cyber targets, and the first one is Amanda Todd. Now, I made a video about three years ago about Megan Speaks' major hypocrisy about how Mr. Repsion quote-unquote exploited the death of Amanda Todd in order to get money, and that video has become one of my most popular videos in my YouTube career. Never would I ever talk about Amanda Todd herself for a long time. But the amazing atheist is right. Amanda Todd's death is no different from everyone else who end up killing themselves over bullying. And while yes, her death is tragic, I have to ask, why is she still on this pedestal when there are plenty of others who suffer the exact same thing? If Amanda Todd was a man, would these people still put her on that pedestal? I doubt it. There is a big, massive double standard within society, and quite frankly, I am sick of it. They also put Zoe Quinn in that and say she is a target of Gamergate, even though Zoe has literally sucked dick in order to have a positive review of her game Depression Quest, and that game was terrible. So is Anita, and like before, she's a target of Gamergate. Even though Gamergaters haven't mentioned Anita at all, it seems that this little research they've done here is a bit biased, don't you think? Because we all know what their definition of harassment is. By doing this work, I have been the target uh, for three years nonstop um, of egregious online harassment in all levels. Um, I think it's important to, to recognize that harassment is, as someone had mentioned, it's not just what is legal and illegal, right? Harassment is uh, threats of violence, but it's also the day-to-day -day grind of you're a liar, you suck, you, you know, making all of these hate videos to attack us on a regular basis and the mobs that come um, from those hate videos. I know that a couple of people have already made a video about this, but they are being straight up serious. You suck videos? You are a liar videos? It seems to me that none of these people even bother to watch any YouTube videos debunking what they have said. We all know what they're trying to say. Even if we point out that Anita Sarkeesian is a liar, then that's the same as harassment. Are you fucking kidding? The report also argues that cyber touch is recognized as equally as harmful as physical touch suggesting that online harassment might be just as lethal as domestic violence and sexual abuse. Now, exactly, what is cyber-touching? Like, explain to me, what is cyber-touching? I swear these feminists continue coming up with new words every fucking day. Manspreading, mansplaining, manspreading, manslamming. Just, this is fucking bullshit. Malambo Nick, I, I can't pronounce this. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
explained that the report is intended to encourage governments to take action against cyberbullying and the UN Women is committed to making sure these efforts are sustainable and enforceable. She says the three most important ways to combat cyber violence are sensitization to the dangers, safeguards against harassment, and sanctions against those who perpetrate internet abuse. This is a 21st century challenge that needs us to have new ways of reacting, she says. Still, one in five female internet users live in countries where laws enforcement are extremely unlikely to respond to internet violence, and only 26% of law enforcement agencies in the 86 countries surveyed are properly prepared to address the problem. Um, the thing is, with, you know, threats of violence on the internet, um, very rarely is it taken very, very seriously because most death threats aren't even credible. Even with her position at the UN, Malambo Nkukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukuk
Are you fucking shitting me? If you are so fragile that getting a simple insult could shatter your own spirit, then there is just no hope for you. You are better off living in that small, tiny box of yours. How did humanity evolve from creating fire to making houses made out of brick to women being so fucking cowardly that they need their special little safe spaces to calm themselves? Look, I'm not denying that there are certain people that are getting legitimately bullied on Facebook, Twitter, and many other internet sites. But the fact of the matter is, is that people like Anita are getting special treatment because she's a woman and they are in complete denial of it. That they are trying to take away our video games. They are trying to change things for them and only them and not really for women in general. This right here is sexism and feminists are in denial of it. If this comes into law, if there's going to be a bigger backlash than ever before and either A, more men are going to end up leaving women and even going as far as to avoid them, or B, there's going to be a rebellion. Either way, we all know that this is a su suppression of freedom of speech and a scare tactic to never criticize a feminist. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.